Russia is preparing for war in space. Threat to the US and Europe is increasing. The Russian Federation plans to place a nuclear weapon in orbit, which will destroy almost all satellites with a single explosion. But this country already has conventional anti-satellite weapons in orbit, killer machines capable of destroying other satellites one by one. Unlike a nuclear explosion in orbit, this weapon can destroy satellites one at a time, not all at once. The Telegraph writes about this. In 2019 and 2020, Russia launched a group of small maneuverable inspection satellites into low orbit. The Russians claim that the function of these devices is to rendezvous with other Russian satellites and check them to diagnose malfunctions. But, as the Telegraph writes, with the help of sensors and manipulators, these identical inspection satellites can interfere with the work of other people's satellites or even destroy them. Russian inspection satellites are usually short-lived. After a couple of years, they run out of fuel, lose altitude and burn up in the atmosphere. To maintain an orbital arsenal for a possible future space war, the Kremlin must launch a new batch of inspection satellites every few years, the Telegraph said. On May the 16th, the Russians launched a mysterious satellite called Cosmos 2576 from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome in northern Russia. Four days later, on May the 20th, Deputy U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Robert Wood said that Cosmos 2576 was likely a weapon capable of attacking other satellites in low Earth orbit. Russia has deployed this new anti-space weapon in the same orbit as a U.S. government satellite. This American satellite, numbered USA-314, is reported to have reconnaissance capabilities, the Telegraph said. If Cosmos 2576 had attacked USA-314, it would have been an act of war. But in a situation where the battle has already begun, the priority of the Russian space forces would be to blind or disable as many American intelligence and communication satellites as possible. The Telegraph notes that the Americans also have inspection satellites and a secret space fighter capable of interfering with other countries' spacecraft, and so do the Chinese. The big difference is that the United States and China are not currently escalating a major war on the surface of the Earth that would demonstrate their recklessness. West will not be able to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine. The reasons were announced. According to Ukrainian military analyst Alexander Kovalenko, Western partners will most likely not dare to shoot down Russian missiles in the sky over Ukraine. As for the possibility of shooting down Russian missiles on the territory of Ukraine by our allies, I am not optimistic about this topic. I do not see the prospect of implementing such a scenario unless Ukraine joins NATO, Kovalenko stressed. According to him, it will be technically challenging for NATO countries to find justification for shooting down Russian missiles in the sky over Ukraine, which which is not yet a member of NATO. The expert noted that a situation might arise when allies will shoot down Ukrainian air defense missiles if they try to neutralize Russian missiles. As Kovalenko stated, synchronizing the Ukrainian air defense system with allies to shoot down Russian missiles is a challenging technical task. Why will it be technically challenging for partners to shoot down Russian missiles in the sky over Ukraine? Technically, it is very difficult to organize the shooting down of Russian missiles by our allies over the territory of Ukraine. For example, in the direction of Lviv, the Russians launched an KH-101 missile and to intercept it, the armed forces of Ukraine sent a Buck air defense system. Our air defense systems can intercept this missile, but it is also seen by Polish air defense systems. Therefore, coordination of actions, compatibility and synchronization of systems is almost impossible. Such a situation may arise that a Polish anti-aircraft missile system will shoot down ours and a Russian missile will hit where it was headed. This is the main problem of the shooting down of Russian missiles by our allies, the analyst explains.